Hello on the Racers TV, welcome along once again. We're joining you this week from Panola. We told you last week we were heading to Mount Gambia on Thursday, but the meeting transferred to Panola. That's where we join you from here today. As we look at racing coming up this week in South Australia, Saturday at Morfordville, Wednesday at Morfordville, that's nice and simple. And on Thursday we go to Port Augusta, where it's the third leg of the Adelaide Galvanising Industries Outback Cup Championship. It's the Squatters Cup meeting at Port Augusta next Thursday. Well, two of the jockeys involved in this great battle for the Metropolitan Jockeys Premiership joining us, Dominic Tourneur and Matthew Nielsen. Firstly, Matt, you're the defending champion and you're split from the Tony McAvoy stable, so it's a, been a great effort by you this season to still be very much in contention. Yeah, um, going all right. Um, you know, probably the first half of the season I was still with Tony, but um, obviously the last five months I've had to go out by myself and, um, yeah, still there and, you know, still in with a chance, I'd say. How have you found the last five months being back out on your own? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah, good. All right, and Dominic, for yourself, um, you'll be chasing your first Metropolitan Jockeys Premiership. So, uh, look, are you, you keen as mustard to get it maybe under your belt? Oh, look, you know, it'll be something you'd like to have under your belt. Uh, looks good on the CV, so, you know, do your best and uh, if it happens, it happens. What we did see on your CV this year was your first Group 1 winner, winning on Maybe Discreet, winning the, the Schweppes Oaks. That must have been a, a big thrill for you, obviously. Yeah, no, it was good. It was a great thrill, uh, especially to do for Philip Stokes, he's a great supporter, and uh, to yeah, obviously, you know, every jockey strives to um, succeed in a Group One, and, and it happened, so it was great. Uh, one of your better rides on Saturday is your discreet, another of the discreet horses for Philip Stokes. She's on a seven-day backup after running third to Caitlin Spirit last week. Were you happy enough with her last week? Yeah, like her run was uh, good last week. Um, probably looking for further anyway, and. Uh, Blinkers go on, so I expect to, to improve with the shades on. Draw barrier 11 of 11, so you're going to have to produce another masterly ride. Yeah, look, we need a bit of luck, but um, yeah, you know, uh, if it pans out our way, uh, so be it. I think she'll be able to beat. And Matthew, uh, for yourself and Dominic, riding down here at Panola today, uh, you boys love getting down to the southeast. Yeah, it's good, uh, you know, no pressure down here and gives us a chance to, you know, just go out and do our thing. And yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Like, we always sort of get good rides and um, yeah, it's always good to, to get a winner down here. All right. Um, who do you think might be the one to beat for your Metropolitan Jockeys title defence this year? Um, yeah, it's, well, it's, it looks like a four-way battle, but, um, you know, Gaddy's always around the mark and, and Jamie's good because she's got a claim and, you know, Dom's always around the mark, so, yeah, it could be, could be a each-way chance, All I right. Sitting on the fence, Dom, who do you think? Look, um... The likes of probably Paul Gatt and, and Maddie themselves probably get a wider range of support than me. Um, and, and Maddie's a very talented rider. Um, and obviously Paul Gatt sort of always gets um, always gets on sort of good mounts. But uh, you know, you just keep chipping away, and you know anything could happen. Uh, like say, and uh, Jamie Carr has been leading all the way, and Claire Lindock, you know, she she gets good support from Leah McDonald. So pretty hard to pretty hard to say at the moment. Um, but uh, I'd probably say like Gatt or Maddie would probably be the Two likely favourites. Good luck on the weekend, boys, and for the rest of the season. Thank right. you. Thanks, Two races we're going to have a look at from the program at Morfordville on Saturday. Firstly, the hurdle, and what a race. We've got a capacity field, 14 runners with two emergencies for the Leslie Short Hurdle. It's a heat of the Over the Rainbow series. Demosa and Amy Herman. Well, they look the best of the South Aussies once again, that combination. Success, Doster and King Triton, just two of the strong chances coming from across the border for the race on Saturday. And the other race we're looking at is race number six. This is the Centibet Handicap. Only a field of nine, but what a good race this promises to be. The weight's headed by Assertive Eagle. Barrigan Boy's going well. Petman, he's going to be one of the great chances. And Classy Chloe on her best form, certainly a great chance once again. We'll see you again next week as well for The Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.